When the Spurs go marching in, when the Spurs go marching George Curry, in. and I was born in Shoreditch in 1923. I've always supported the Spurs. I first went to see a foot professional footballer. I visited an uncle in Chelsea, and he took me to see Chelsea play uh, Liverpool. I would have been about 10, 1933. But coming from Hoxton and going to Chelsea, which I thought was the other end of the world, and walking through to Stamford Bridge, the home of Chelsea Football Club, you passed the big houses where they had butlers. and <laughs> It was a world I'd never seen before. After that, my brothers used to take me to Tottenham. They had a simple portion for children. We used to take great joy in dropping our orange peel or nuts, whatever we were noshing, on the spectators below us, and they used to want to turn around and shout us hooligans. <laughs> when I first started football, when the left back got the ball, it kicked the ball down the field into touch which they would never do today. They passed to a colleague and that's, they'd pass the ball down the field. And I believe that all developed from the Spurs push and run. He called himself a ticket broker. His name was Harry Fleshman. Now, when there was a cup final, the players got an allocation of free tickets. And players in them days weren't overpaid as footballers and they made quite a living out of selling their tickets and they'd sell them to Harry Flashman. So if you wanted a ticket for the cup final, which was as near to impossible getting as you could get, you went to Harry Flashman and he'd sell you the ticket. I, I just used to know him coming out the Spurs. Hello Harry, hello George. Little fellas like Tommy Harmer, beautiful players, like watching poetry it was for me. They'll be there in all their glory when the Spurs go marching in.